which of these describes modified shock index easy thing uh, it is something that will tell you the prognosis in a patient of shock it's a bedside test what you are going to do you are going to measure the heart rate and you are going to divide it by the mean arterial pressure okay you are going to divide it by the mean arterial pressure you must know how to measure mean arterial pressure it is going to be the pulse pressure plus one third of your diastolic blood pressure that is your mean arterial pressure in the icu setting we never look at sbp and dbp in isolation not just pulse pressure we always look at map map is the average blood the mean blood the organ is receiving per second it is a second to second organ perfusion right that's why you always look at a mean arterial pressure and not sbp or dbp in isolation they are better markers so if the modified shock index which is going to be heart rate divided by map so you think of it like this heart rate upon mean arterial pressure how much should the heart rate be in a normal person it should be like 70 how much should be the mean arterial pressure in a normal person it should be something like 70 80 60 70 so in most of us the shock or the modified shock index should be less than one approximately if my heart rate is increasing too much because that's what happens when i'm having shock and my mean arterial pressure falls the modified shock index will become more than one which is a dangerous thing so there are two indices one is a shock index and the question asked about modified shock index modified shock index is heart rate upon map which is a better markup and a decline in this modified shock index is associated with a poor prognosis right if it declines it is associated with a poor prognosis it is telling me about hypoperfusion right so if it increases it means the person is having hypoperfusion a normal should be less than one up to 1.3 is okay if it is more than 1.3 it is a poor out right it means heart rate is too much and the map is too little as a fraction earlier they used to use shock index that was heart rate upon svp i told you svp is not the best marker of organ perfusion mean arterial pressure is better and there they would say if it is more than 0.9 it has a high mortality risk but between the two modified shock index anything which is modified is going to be more valuable that's why they came up with the modification right 